one of the cool things about our homestead is that we have mullen as far as the eye can see. <laughs> There's more way over there even. And uh, mullen is actually a really great herb to have on hand if you are into that sort of thing. Um, I dabble, but what I am planning to use it for in the immediate sense is actually mulch because it has these fabulous leaves that um, provide great shade and also some nutrients for the soil. I just started this process today. It is early May and so prime mulch season. And here with our climate, mulch is actually quite important for gardening because it's really dry here in the summer. So it's a water conservation thing. It's also kind of a compost in place thing. Um, but I'm excited about this. It's actually really easy to do. And because I have so much of it, I didn't really have to be discriminatory with which plants I picked and whether I got the whole plant up or not. There were some that came out easily, so I just took the whole thing, including the root, and then cut off the leaves, ripped off or tore off the leaves, actually. Um, and then others were fighting with me, so I just let them fight with me and I took their leaves. Here's the professional mulch harvester, Clara. Here's that some more mulch. Okay, awesome, thank you. Here I've layered the mullen leaves a little more thickly. Um, this is cilantro and basil. Um, and yeah, our temperatures are fluctuating really, really wildly. We had snow up about a thousand feet above us yesterday and it's supposed to be 90 degrees in the next five days. So, you know, welcome to California springtime. Um, but tucking the plants in with this nice natural bedding, as it were, should work out pretty well. I have noticed that it does disintegrate pretty quickly, so you have to apply it regularly. But um, like I said, that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's providing compost in place to the plants. So this is a bed of Jerusalem artichokes that I put in thanks to the generosity of a neighbor that I'm really excited about. That is a plant to look up if you haven't already. Um, and. I've actually been using the mullen to hide it from the goats because it's just kind of out here on the hillside. This particular plant is quite invasive, so I didn't want to put it in any of my garden spaces just yet, but I don't mind at all if it takes over this hillside. So that's my rationale there. Without the fence though, I needed a way to hide it. So the mullen leaves did that. And then they also, you can really kind of see here, I've just been layering it as it breaks down and it keeps the soil nice and moist, even though this is in a pretty full sun location. So yeah, mullen for the win. And man, if you've got it, you've probably got it. If you don't, you probably wish you did. It's a pretty nifty plant.